guys? Tom is back with another Lintense video. And today I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison between two fragrances that are pretty much the clone champs of the world, okay? Now, in one corner, we got our moth. The almighty our moth. You know, their, their best fragrance, the um, our moth. Club than wheat intense man that stuff is amazing everyone says it's the the aventus killer it kills aventus then you got those creed people that no 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 they just want to stunt they want to show their prowess and say no creed is better and then you got those fans from dua dua fragrances man i've heard of them i have never pulled the trigger on any of them um, one of the biggest reasons is I feel like our moth does a damn great job at cloning fragrance, uh, especially fragrances that are a little bit too much out of my price range. And I believe they do a damn good job. And plus most of their bottles, almost all of them are 3.4 ounce. So you're always getting a hundred ML with Dua, man, I've checked their website. All I see is one ounce bottles, man. And they're usually about 60 bucks. So uh, yes, you can go out there and wait for them to have a nice sale, a 30% off sale. Which would be dope. That would probably make these fragrances around $42. But then again, you're probably going to buy a thousand of them. So you're going to be spending a lot of money. Our moths do a damn good job as far as cloning. But there are those guys out there that say Dua is the best. <clears throat> now, I have two of them in front of me. And they are both trying to clone Platinum Chanel Eagle Weast. Okay? Now, um, I've smelt the real deal. It was probably maybe like a few years back. Um, and before I get into these, um, pretty much all of them are nearly identical as far as no breakdown. Um, the Dua has a few differences from the others. Um, it seems to me Legacy is more... You know, as far as, you know, the note breakdown, it's a little closer to um, uh, Eagle Weast. I think Legacy is a little bit closer. Um, they're almost all identical as far as the top notes, except for Eagle Weast has Neroli in theirs. The other two are pretty much spot on together. Um, at the end, they kind of differ a little bit where the Dua has Amber in it, and then I believe Eagle Weast has Amber, and Legacy does not have it. So there are a few little differences now i cannot say which one gets closer to eagle weeks because obviously i do not have a bottle of that near me right now but what i can do is spray each one of these on my hand i can smell them you know what i'm probably gonna pause the video somewhere in the middle of this thing and i'm gonna go about my day and then you know maybe come back here two to three hours from now I'll restart up the video, and then I will tell you guys which one do I think performs better, okay? We'll see if they almost even smell alike, okay? But, you guys, we are here for a fight. And in this corner, ba -ba 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 -ba, we got our moth legacy. Ugly, shitty-ass bottle. This bottle is complete shit. Um, why they would put that there? I don't know. Fucking mousetrap. It's going to snap my finger in half. But ugly bottle. Great juice, you guys. If you guys have never smelt this, Legacy, it's nice. This thing's definitely got me plenty of compliments, unsolicited compliments. So this stuff is great. Dua. People love Dua, man. Dua has like the, probably one of the biggest fan bases I've ever seen. And they just love them some fucking Dua. Like they love Dua the way... Fucking white people love Mountain Dew. They love it that much. But here we go. This is Dual Fragrances Young CEO. Or is that Young Ego? Young Ego. Okay, not Young CEO. Young Ego. But man, I kind of like these little, um, these labels on these duos. These are pretty slick, man. And I would guess that this Young um, Ego means that looks like a young lion on there. Kind of growling, showing you that he's up and coming so that's a pretty cool looking bottle much better than this piece of shit right there i tell you that much already this in the far as the bottle looks so much better now when it comes to oil concentrations this one is pretty much pure extract extract that parfum this one is just a edp i believe you guys 
Um, yeah, I believe this one is an EDP. I could be wrong, could be just an EDT. So obviously this one should do better, but we will see. You never know. Some more muffs last a long time. So here we go. Without further ado, let's get into it. Let's see if they both smell good. Let's see if they both smell similar. And then let's see which one lasts longer. Okay. Now, the one thing I like about our muffs, again, like I said, 3.4 ounce. Almost all their fragrances are 3.4 ounce. And they do a damn good job. Meanwhile, this is only one ounce. So think about it. Even if this is maybe, like maybe it, it, it's 25% less effective than this one or doesn't last as long, maybe 25% less, you still get like three of these or two of these for the price of this one. Think about it. You can't beat that. That's why I love our mops a lot. So here we go. Let's see if Dua can change my mind. So our moth on the right hand. Do two sprays. Definitely getting a nice whiff of that already. Two sprays over here. Both sprayers are kind of lackluster, to be honest. So, Legacy first on the right. Man, it's, it's so fresh, earthy, musky. Man, I think there's like pedigree in here, rosemary, lavender. This is just a powerhouse right here. That is very nice. That is very fresh, crispy, musky, earthy, aromatic, whatever. This is very nice, you guys. I'm digging that. Let's see over here now. Do a. Are they, although they do have similarities at the top, they're very similar, okay? Both of them have that rosemary, that lavender. I believe they both have some type of pedigree as well in both of these. This one, obviously, you can see my hand is more moist, okay? So, obviously, better oil concentration on this one, the Dua. Smells nice and green and earthy as well, nice and fresh. I think in the middle, um, I forgot what's in the middle. I know it's some more like you know, earthy type things like that. In the end, one of them has like an amber, the other one doesn't. Some of them have geranium, I believe, in it as well. Both of these. They are kind of similar, but I'm actually going to, for right now, from the top, I'm actually leaning more towards the Legacy version. Okay, I think the Legacy smells better, in my honest opinion, much better. This is okay, but I think, honestly, this one isn't popping as much as this one. starting to get like i believe that's that geranium or i believe it's a geranium i'm starting to smell that a little bit in both of them the geranium seems to be popping a little bit more on the dua side actually man right now I would have to lean a little bit more towards the legacy side not by much it is very close you guys um they both have that earthy green musky fresh smell they both smell high class they both scream ceo they both scream big man grown man shit they both smell Amazing. Both are definitely date night, sexy date night fragrances. Definitely not just a dumb reach for these. Definitely wear these on the right occasion. Both of these smell amazing, okay? But 
honestly, again, I'm leaning more towards the legacy. Now, that is not because I have more Amorphs than Duo. It is not because of that, you guys. It is not because I sometimes feel like the Duo fans are just out of control, those people. It's not because of that. Okay, honestly, I'm just giving you my honest opinion. I think right now, where we stand, the opening, um, the most bang for your buck, I think this legacy is a little bit better. Again, $25, $30 for legacy, $60 for the duo. One ounce, 3.4 ounce. You already tripled the size of that duo, okay? You already tripled the size almost. Man, they are both, honestly, they are both really good. And obviously, there is a much difference if you can see the hand on Dua is still kind of shiny and glistening. This one is actually not that far behind, so it's really close, you guys. This one's obviously a little bit more shiny and glossy looking than this one, but this one is not, like, completely dry like other EDTs and stuff like that. There's something in both of these fragrances, too, that when you smell them, you get a nice, huge whiff. It almost, it's almost like a punch to the sinuses, like deep in your nostrils. Both of them are heavy, heavy hitters, okay? Both of these, you do not, not need to go heavy, okay? They both are probably going to perform very well. They're probably both going to project because, like I said, I've gotten plenty of compliments with this one already. Unsolicited, out of the blue comment compliments with this one, okay? I have yet to give this a full wear in outdoor, so I can't tell you about that. But they are both smelling really nice off the hand. They're both popping pretty damn good. But, like I said, I just have to lean a little bit more towards Legacy. And it's not because of its cheapness. It's not because it's cheaper. Honestly, I like the smell of this Legacy one just a little bit more. Okay. With that being said... I'm going to stop this video right now, okay? I will come back in about two to three hours, and I'll let you know how each one has performed. And then I'll kind of give you more of a note breakdown as well uh, when I come back. All right, so stay tuned. Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm back, and it has been about two hours now since I've sprayed on the Dua and our Moth. And, man, it's a toss-up, really. Um... Our mop is on this right hand. Again, it is still pretty strong. It's definitely fading now a little bit. But it's still definitely there. It's definitely noticeable. I think like the Dua is just right there as well. Um, You would think with the Dua being the higher oil concentration that it would be much more stronger right now um much better performance but obviously both of them are pretty much neck to neck as far as performance goes they're both pretty much smelling very similar right now and you know in the base in the duo one, we got amber, geranium, and vetiver. And in our moth, we got musk, oak moss, oak moss um, sandalwood, and cedar. So there's definitely a lot of similarities right there as well. I thought there was like a sweet rose smell um, in the our moth one as well. And now that I'm looking at the notes now... There is rose in this Armoff. There's no rose in the Dua. There is um, the Geranium. There's some Clary Sage. Pretty much both are pretty much spot on as far as notes besides a few other things. Armoff also has Jasmine in as well. There's no Cedar in Dua. But then there's no Amber in the Armoff. 
both have oak moss in it and sandalwood. Okay, if I had to pick, the wifey liked the Dua a little bit better. Me, I liked our moth a little bit better. But the reason why I have to go with the Armoff over this Dua is because, again, for the price of this thing right here, $60 for a one ounce. Granted, you're getting higher quality oil concentration in this one. This one, you are doubling that in size. You get 3.4 ounce in this one. You get an ugly bottle, too, to match it. Um, this bottle is a piece of junk. Uh, but this one, 3.4 ounce. One ounce. That's all you get. Sixty dollars, less than thirty. You would think this one has the better performance, way better performance. It's really close, you guys. That's honestly, I'm almost leaning a little bit more towards the legacy being the better performer. They're both getting really earthy right now and kind of woody. But yes, if I'd have to choose, even price aside, both of these were 30 bucks. I would still pick the Legacy. I think it actually smells better. Performance is just about the same with both of these. But I think the smell on this one is better. And then now once you throw in the price differential, this one is better than this one in my honest opinion. There you guys have it. Dua versus Armoff. I think Armoff wins this one. Not by a landslide. It's not hands down. It is close. But if I had to pick, Armoff would be the winner on this one, you guys. There you guys have it hope you guys enjoyed that video if you guys did hit the likes comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time all right peace out yeah